On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Age of Extinction One Step Autobot Hound. Having a look at the figure closer, well, it's it's a much smaller Transformer, obviously, for the fact that it's just a one-step Transformer. But you know what? I kind of like the fact that Hasbro is approaching the Age of Extinction line with different categories. I know a lot of people are thinking, ah, why, why waste plastic on something like a one-step Transformer? Well, A, you know, really, it's good for the kids that really haven't picked up the ability to transform a toy and you know go by instructions and stuff like that one step means that they can go from vehicle mode to robot mode without any problems whatsoever plus it's too you know as a as an adult collector myself i can say that you know sometimes it's these one step transformers that i have the most fun with because you know if i'm in front of the computer and i'm doing other stuff uh, it's fun just to have like a little something to play with that i can go from one step to a vehicle mode to a robot mode and uh you know, I, I have more fun than sitting there for a while trying to transform something. So, you know what? I'm I'm all bored for the uh, the one step transformers. On the back of the package, a picture of Autobot Hound in both robot mode as well as his some sort of military uh, vehicle. Not quite sure the name of it, but really neat vehicle nonetheless. Also available, Autobot Drift and Grimlock and other the one-step uh, transformations. One-step transformation does involve just pressing the button, bada-bing, bada-boom, you've got yourself a robot, just like that. Just like that. That's all that's involved. Uh, to look at this further, certainly what I am going to do is take a break. Going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the one-step Autobot Hound. There's more on your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. First, having a look at Hound in Jeep mode, or some sort of military carrier. Uh, it's a pretty decent looking uh, representation of how he looked in the movie. Yes, I know, of course, at the back there, you can kind of see Hound's hands, which is really a big giveaway. But due to his transformation, that's, uh, that's exactly where his hands unfortunately have to be. I suppose there could have been an easier way, maybe there could have been a flap or something that could have uh, moved down so you wouldn't see oh <laughs> without you be able to see the uh, the back of the robot you can see that also the one step is hair trigger so if you're not careful and pressing it uh, you know it will transform into robot quite easily uh, he has free moving wheels and moves quite easily as well um, again in uh, in vehicle mode I really like it I, I think it's it's a nice looking uh, piece it's it's painted well as also right down to the Autobot logo there's a little paint uh, a little symbol there as well I can't quite make that out what that says down there but uh, really again for keep in mind for how small this is and what simple the transformation is on the robot they put really a lot of effort into at least giving the one steps uh, a finished look so I, I like that I think they did a really good job as you've already seen spot already bumble his way through and accidentally press the button. The one step button for transformation is right at the top here. So the only thing you have to actually do is you kind of have to hold it from the, the carriage section, the front part of the vehicle, and then just press that button. And uh, when you press it, there's Hound right there. That's all that's involved. Didn't, didn't catch all of it? All right, let's fold it back up. Folding it up also quite easy. You're just gonna fold the arms together and then bring this section up or vice versa, I guess, take this back section and fold it down and it locks into place. Again, taking the button here and we'll do it from this side so you guys can actually see. It takes very little effort at all to get Hound to transform. Now, really in this mode, he doesn't have a lot of articulation, though at least, if anything, his arms do move, which I think, again, for a one-step transformer, keeping in mind, really, it's only a spring, I think it's still a really neat-looking toy. Has a rotation also in his head, and also to give you guys a closer look on his head, too, <laughs> that's a really neat-looking paint. Paint's quite clean. 
they took the time to actually paint in all the little details right down to his eyes and his makeshift beard, his makeshift robot beard that he's got going on there. He's got the gold in his little missiles, and he's got the silver all there in his in his arms. I mean, he again, he's a really neat looking toy, and Spot's completely defending this line that you know what, as just a simple transformation, something that the kids and or the adults can pick up and play with. I think the one step transformers are really fun. And for those who said, "Oh well, transformers didn't used to be like this," keep in mind also remember the runabout run amuck. Also, what the Autobot jump starters, I think, were just, again, same idea. You wound them back, they popped forward, and bada bing, bada boom, you you had yourself a robot. Um, this is really along those same lines. And uh, for those that say, oh, well, you know, why spend money on something like this? You know what? Why not? It's fun. It's something that I'm probably going to continue to be playing with right after I finish this review because it can go from vehicle mode to robot mode with no efforts whatsoever. Um, yeah, certainly, definitely a fun little toy. You know, of course, you can always get yourself your deluxe class and the, the ones that have a little more complex transformations, but these one-step transformers are ideal for younger kids and adults alike that just want to have a fun way to transform from vehicle mode to robot mode. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Age of Extinction One Step Hound. I was going to say Autobot Hound. I guess his name is Autobot Hound. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.